Hello folks, welcome back. It's a chilly morning here on the farm. Just set up a new hive stand, and as promised, we've got a new piece of equipment. Let's check it out. This is the Paradise Honey Bee Box that's made in Finland. It is a Langstroth, and you can buy just the uh, individual boxes. You can buy the lids, the bases all separate, or you can buy them uh, pretty much as a kit. They're um, fully compatible with all Langstroth frames, queen excluders, things like that. They are polystyrene, very popular in Europe. Paradise Honey has been uh, making polystyrene boxes for over 30 years. Let's take a quick look here. It is a high density polystyrene. And as you can see, there's plastic inserts here. So you, if the boxes end up getting stuck, you can put your hive tool in there and pop them right apart. You're not prying against the polystyrene. You don't have to use the entry reducer, but you can. It's fully adjustable here. Let's see, let's take a look. So you can close it up, you can open it a little bit, you can up this one side, open it up like that. The box is locked together real nice. Pop the lid off, take a look. So here's the frame rests, they're plastic. Got a little raised edge here that the frames will actually rest on. That's just less surface to be uh, stuck down to the frame rest. Should uh, slide across pretty good. Let's pop this box off. And as you can see, the boxes are recessed on the bottom and there's a raised lip on the next box. So they really just really lock in place. They're not going to slide off. A conventional queen excluder fits right in between them without any problem. This is just a generic queen excluder that I had. They do have a mesh floor with a Varroa tray, so you can do your checks, you can leave it open, you can leave it partially open, you can remove it, you can just whatever. These do come unassembled, they're just white polystyrene, real easy to put together, no tools required. Uh, they recommend uh, Type Bond glue, I use Type Bond 3. And just uh, push them all together. You have to put the uh, the plastic pieces on the ends first before you assemble them. Make sure that they're fitted in tight. Small amount of glue. Press the boxes together. There's a video, uh, several videos on YouTube on assembling these. Real easy to do. No tools at all. Uh, you, they do recommend putting an exterior grade paint on it. To protect the uh, polystyrene from sunshine, UV rays will break them down. I used uh, three coats of a good quality exterior paint and primer combination. Uh, I did paint the insides also. Uh, bees have a habit of chewing on polystyrene, but if you paint them, they tend to leave it alone on the inside. Give you a good view here, all the way around. Again, it's a very high density polystyrene. Standard Langstroth honey supers and brood boxes will fit right on top. The internal dimensions are the same, so your box will fit right along the edges here. They won't lock in, but they will sit right on there. They are compatible. At 
these things are rated at around an R value of around seven versus uh, three quarter inch plywood is about an R value of three quarter. There's room on the underside of the cover so you can put uh, pollen patties or uh, bag type feeders. Let's see if we can get this put on here. I'm trying to film this with one hand. Uh, I've got inserts on the lids here so you can put a strap across. That's what I do. I've got a simple strap to strap it right down to the, to the uh, hive stand. We're going to give this a try this year. I'm going to set a another conventional wooden Langstroth at the other end of the stand. I've got several overwintered nukes. We're going to put a nuke in each one and we're going to see how they do. See if there's really any difference over the summer and then we're going to take them right through winter in these boxes and see how they do through the winter. Uh, I really think that the uh, thermal protection in both summer and winter would uh, definitely help the bees out. You figure the bees in a natural cavity in a tree have several inches of wood on the outside of them and an infinite amount of insulation above them. I believe that I read that the average tree cavity has an R value of around six or better. That's just something we're going to try. I've been wanting to try one of these for years. The sole importer of these is Blue Sky in Northern Ohio. So if you're kind of interested in checking these out, take a look at their website. They do cost a little more than a wooden box. I think uh, you're looking at about a third higher price. They're quite popular in some countries. We've never quite taken to them here in the States. So we're gonna give this one a try. I'm gonna do a lot of updates this year. Good, bad, or indifferent. Well, there you go, folks. Got a new hive to try this year. Really looking forward to this one. I've been wanting one of these for two or three years. Like I said, the sole importer of these is Blue Sky. I am not sponsored by Blue Sky in any way. I purchased this with my own money. But if you are interested, take a look at their website. Like I said, these things are fully compatible with all Langstroth parts. So uh, I'm really looking forward to this. We're going to pop a nuke into it here in a few weeks. And like I said, we're going to put a, a hive right next to it with another one of my nukes. And we're going to uh, see how they both perform throughout the summer. Um, really looking forward to trying this out. Thanks for watching. Got more videos coming.